Hey there friends, welcome to Dev Tips for Designers. My name is Travis Nielsen. This is a YouTube channel dedicated to help designers get their feet wet with web development. What's that? Not a designer? Well that's okay, you can come too. Last week we wrapped up our first series of seven videos here on YouTube called HTML5 Basics. If you haven't yet, I recommend taking a look at this playlist right here and checking that out. This week I want to take a step back and talk about how the internet actually works. It's very complicated, full of things and stuff. So I've taken the liberty of making it simple and drawing this picture for you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. But what I'm about to describe is in no way a complete picture or even an accurate one, but it's the internet as I understand it, and as far as I'm concerned, that should be good enough for you. Now there are tons of more robust and complete descriptions of what I'm about to tell you, but I wanted to give you this perspective, which is a simpler kind of what you need to know about the internet in order to make the internet at least a teensy corner of the internet. Perspective. Okay, let's start with a browser. A browser is an application on your computer or phone or whatever that translates or renders all of the codes that we've been talking about into the visible web pages that you can go on the internet and see. Now the browser renders all the codes, right? But the codes are stored on a server. You can think of a server as a special kind of computer whose main purpose is to talk to browsers and give them the code to enable them to render the website that you want to view. Servers come in all shapes and sizes. Anything from a few hard drives in your mom's basement all the way to large scale data warehouses like this data center in North Carolina owned by Google. The way a browser talks to a server and get all those codes and stuff is through a protocol called Hypertext Transfer Protocol, or HTTP. Now, we as website makers need to be aware that every time our browser hits up the server for more information, another image or whatever, it's using another HTTP request. Now, too many HTTP requests and your website becomes sluggish and slow. Now, we can cut down on our HTTP requests by doing some simple things like combining all of our files into as few files as possible or creating sprites out of our images and things like that. Now sometimes, but not always, but sometimes the websites that we build use databases. Now databases are not as scary as I thought they were. Think of them as special types of spreadsheets that house information and then when our website needs that specific bit of information, it'll just plug it in like a blog entry or something like that. Now we're not going to talk about databases today, but we may some other day. But don't hold me to that, I think they're kind of boring. Okay, so where do we fit into all this? So we're this guy or girl over here making HTML and CSS and JavaScript websites on our local machines like we should, and when we're done making our website with all the coolest trendy code tricks, we put our code up on that server over here using another protocol called File Transfer Protocol, or FTP. And now, the world can see your internet. Cheers. Next week, I wanna talk about a few more details involved in this process. Like, how do we link all our files together and structure our projects where everything works together the way we want them to. Okay, that's it for this week. Um, I'm looking for feedback on the series HTML5 Basics. Take a look at the link right, right there. I wanna make it better. I wanna know what you guys are interested in, what you wanna hear about, and if you have any specific kind of questions, please let me know. Uh, comment in the video below, and if you could do me a big favor, share this video with your buddies, and maybe click a thumbs up. I don't really know what the thumbs up does, but click that, maybe. All right, take care, see ya, bye. Clicking the subscribe button takes you to a magical world of fantasy and wonderful happiness and lucky charms. 
Leprechauns dancing and unicorns prancing. Everybody has a happy time when you click the subscribe button.